Come on, you bitch. Stop it. <sighs> Look at it. You see this? You see this shit? It's so annoying. I don't know. I, I've done... I've adjusted the valves on this. I've... I've <sighs> cleaned the carburetor. I've done everything you can do. By the way, 90% of you are not subscribed, so if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be doing me a great favor, and it's free. I'm also very curious to know if the people who watch also ride um, dirt bikes or whatever you ride, so whatever you ride or don't ride, let me know down below in the comment section. Anyway. Tomorrow, we will be going to uh, ride on a, that backyard track. Supposedly, he redone it, so it's supposed to be like a million times better than what it was. And not as doo-doo. It's pretty shitty last time. I don't know. It, the ground there is just way too fucking hard and taking corners and shit. I, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, what I really want to talk about today was kind of a... the rabbit hole of riding motorcycles or two wheels or probably anything this probably pertains to car people motorcycle people ATV people yeah this probably pertains to all of y'all but it goes like this Hunter has a Suzuki DRZ125 that cost him a thousand dollars. All right, this DRZ cost me a thousand dollars. Hunter gets heavy into dirt riding. Hunter now wants a CRF450 <laughs> or a 250, either one, either one works. CRF50, brand new. Eight thousand dollars. CRF four fifty, eleven thousand dollars. So if you're wondering how's that rabbit hole, that's just you want an upgrade. The rabbit hole starts as okay. I buy a Grom. Or I get a Grom, a Honda Grom, for the sport side of things, or the street side of things. I get a Honda Grom. Um, but now, I also want a sport bike to go along with the Honda Grom. And then I also want a cruiser because, I don't know, cruisers are just comfortable to ride. So I want a cruiser now. And a sport bike. And I also want to keep my Honda Grom. It's right there. Here's the problem. Is I can't sell to buy because I don't want to sell. A simple, simple explanation is. I thought, all right, well, originally all I ever wanted was just a Grom. That's it. I was like, you know, I don't think I'm going to get too big into this, but I think it'd be fun as hell to have a Grom. And I think it'd be a great thing to have, you know? It's, I've always wanted a motorcycle. Uh, the Grom isn't too crazy, isn't too big. It's, you know, it's not as fast as a sport bike. I'm not gonna be able to go 300 miles on it. Um, so I get the Grom. All right, we got the Grom. <laughs> After the dealer fucked me, gave me an insane interest rate, but that's beside the point. Um, we got the Grom. I'm like, you know what? As much as I love to street ride, it is kind of a pain in the ass to go. And it is kind of a pain in the ass to go to town every single time I want to ride, which town is like 20 miles away. So I'm like, uh, you know what? I live in the middle of nowhere, so a dirt bike, that'll be a great idea. Let's see if I can find one that's cheap. All right, we come across this Suzuki DRZ125 fun love it you know 
So there I am sitting thinking my collection is complete. I have everything that I want. Motorcycle wise, the street. I have something for the street, I have something for off-road. You know, there's never a time that I could not ride if I wanted to ride. Everything is complete. <sighs> Until I set my eyes on a CBR 300. So realistically, I knew that I probably couldn't afford a CBR 300, even though, you know, they're not, they're not that expensive to some people. But I was like, well, I can never afford that. I'd have to sell something to get it. Um, and one day I go to check out this project bike that's a Kawasaki Ninja. And in the corner of this man's shed is a 2015 CBR 300. And it looks like pure shit. And clearly this guy's need the money, so, you know, I'm going to take advantage and get my deal and get a 2015 CBR 300. It has no title, keep in mind. Don't ever buy a fucking motorcycle without a title. It wasn't stolen, though. It didn't have any liens on it. it. I just didn't want to put up with the headache of trying to trace down back to the last owner. In fact, I did trace down back to the last owner, and they would not respond to me. They would not say anything back whenever I asked them to apply for a lost title or anything like that. They just wouldn't respond. So eventually I sold the CBR, which was yesterday. So the CBR is gone. But you know, I did ride it on the roads and stuff and it was fun, but having the Grom and having a CBR 300, they're kind of the same thing, but not really. Like, yeah, it gives you a taste of what a sport bike is and, and all that good shit, but at the end of the day, it's a 300, like, it's a 300 sport bike, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, it can go fast, it can go like 90 something miles an hour, but it's not that good. It's not a big enough jump from a Grom. But again, I don't want to sell this dirt bike. So, you know, that kind of leaves you in the rabbit hole where um, I don't, I don't know. You don't, you have like, you have assets or whatever that you could sell to get other assets. That is true. But I, I really love having this dirt bike. It's fun to ride. It's not too big. It's nimble. It's fun. It's, it's everything. You know what I mean? And the only reason I would want another one is because I would like to go to a motocross track one day. I would like to learn the art of racing on the dirt or getting good at jumping the hills, the whips, all that shit. I think that'd be really fun to do. So. <clears throat> I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of fun to have in this money pit. There's a lot of uh, people to meet. There's a lot of things to enjoy. There's a lot of rides to attend. There's a lot of things to do um so i don't you know is it worth it kind of yeah i mean what else would you rather do would you rather just kind of stare at you know your dollar bills sitting there saving up for like a home or ride a big badass cr50 crf 450 works edition i mean come on let's think about it here or create the baddest 125 dirt bike known to man make your choice Anyway, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and get ready for the next video where we might be possibly racing that two-stroke motherfucker. Um, and hope that my tires don't blow out because they are starting to crack all around the sidewall. And guess what? Nobody has any tires. So yeah. But we're still going to go anyway and try to have a good time. Alright, thanks for watching.